Yes, you guys, this is the second video today, so I welcome you to the second video. But the highly anticipated Xenex OS has come out for the Xiaomi Mi 8, so instantly I backed up all my data, which I recommend you do right now before you watch this video, and transferred it to a backup drive on my computer. We're gonna try and make this video as fast as possible, so I'm not gonna show you guys how to unlock the bootloader. You can watch that in my previous videos right up here. So before we can flash the ROM, you will need some something called a custom recovery. Now, a recovery is something for your phone on the lines of a BIOS for your computer. It's somewhere where you can actually flash custom ROMs, wipe your phone, recover things, without actually going into the system of your phone. So technically, it actually has quite a lot more power than the BIOS on your computer. So what you want to do is you want to navigate to the Orange Fox website right here, which will be down in the description below. You want to download the latest Orange Fox recovery for your phone, and then you want to boot your phone into fast boot mode. So the way you do that is you want to power off your phone and then power it on holding volume down and power. This should give you access to the fast boot menu of your phone, just like that. Now, what you want to make sure you have installed on your computer is ADB and Fastboot. Minimal ADB and Fastboot will be down in the description below. It's super easy to install. All you do is you just click yes for everything and make sure you install it system wide. Then what you want to do is you want to press the Windows key and the letter R, type CMD, press enter. And if you want to see if ADB is working, type ADB. If you get this big long line of code, it means you have been successful. Now you want to plug your phone into your computer like this. Of course, you want to make sure that your bootloader is unlocked, as I said earlier, and you want to type fastboot flash recovery space. Open up that zip file that you downloaded earlier extract the recovery.img from that zip file onto anywhere and drag it into that command prompt. Then you want to press enter and boom, your recovery has now successfully been flashed. Now you can type fast boot reboot. Now your phone will reboot and we can move on to the next steps. Today, I'm just going to show you the process of flashing Xenex OS and making everything work. Now, in case you guys are interested in what backup solution I use to back up all my apps and data, I use Migrate. A recent update of Migrate is now on the Play Store and it supports Android 10. So what you do is you install that through the Play Store, give it root access, and it backs up all your apps, permissions, app data, everything, then you transfer that back up to your computer and flash it back using TWRP or Orange Fox custom recovery. So now that we have that out of the way and all our stuff is backed up, let's move on to actually flashing the ROM. So what you will want to do is you will want to download the files from the Xenex OS repository on XDA. So let's do that right now. Okay, so as you guys can see, we are now on the Xenex OS repository right here. Xenex OS is basically the new version of Havoc OS created by the developer of that ROM, Xenex. So you will want to click down here, Gaps or Vanilla version, choose your version. I'm personally going to choose the Gaps version because I like having my Gaps pre-installed with my firmware and having everything working perfectly well. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to boot your phone into recovery mode. So the way I am going to do that is I'm going to click Reboot on my phone and hold the volume up button. Now, once again, you do need to have custom recovery installed for this to work. So please make sure you have that done before you continue watching this video. So by holding the volume up button while the phone is turning on, we will be greeted by my custom recovery of choice, which is Orange Fox recovery. So as you can see here, we have Orange Fox booting. So once you are in Orange Fox recovery, you want to click wipe. You want to wipe Davlik Art, Cache, System, data and that's it that's all you want to wipe and when you slide this all your data will go so please make sure you have all your things backed up so we're going to swipe and as you can see now all the data is being wiped now what you want to do is you want to click back menu manage partitions data ticket format data type yes and tick that will make sure all the remnants of your past ROM are gone from your phone. This is very important as if you don't do this, some things like the FRP lock or your passcode might stay and you don't want that. So now that that's done, going into files, you should see your phone is completely empty. 
So once ZenXOS downloads here, all we do is we plug our phone into our computer and the custom recovery will allow us to transfer files directly to the phone while you're in recovery mode. So let's do that. As you can see, my phone has shown up on my computer. Now we just wait for ZenXOS to finish downloading. While ZenXOS is downloading, you might also want to download Megisk. Now Megisk is very important as it hides the fact that you have an unlocked bootloader and root access. So if you don't have Megisk, you're going to have problems later on with things like your banking apps, Google Pay, etc. So let's download the latest Megisk off GitHub here. All these links are down in the description below, by the way. I always put these links down in the description for you. Then you want to open up your phone, your internal storage, copy your Megisk, paste it in, just like that. And now we just wait for ZenXOS to download. And once that is complete, we will do the exact same thing, dragging it into our internal storage. Perfect. So ZenXOS is downloaded. So let's just transfer that straight to our phone storage and we will be done there. Out of the way, it says two minutes, 30 seconds remaining when it actually isn't. Perfect. So now that those two things are transferred, you can unplug your phone from your computer. Now you want to unlock your phone, swipe to unlock. And as you can see, those two files are now showing up on top of your phone here under files in Orange Fox Recovery. So what you want to do is you want to click on Xanax OS, you want to click add to queue, and then you want to add Megisk to the queue and swipe. This will now flash Xanax OS and Megisk onto your phone in that order. And please make sure it's in that order because if you flash Megisk with no system, it's just going to fail and it's going to be a massive pain later on. So as you can see, Xanax OS is now being flashed and it says installing file one of two. So now we just wait for this to complete and then we're pretty much done. So I will be right back to you when this is done. So as you can see now, it says patching vendor image unconditionally, and that means we're pretty much almost done. Once it's done patching the vendor image, it's going to flash Megisk, and that will be it for our journey in the recovery. So now it's running OTA underscore back process, which is something I have never seen before, but I'm guessing it has something to do with the OTA updates. Yes, this ROM supports OTA updates. Thank God. Now it's installing Megisk, installing file two of two, so we are almost complete. It's now just repacking the boot image. So once that is done, you just wanna click reboot, or if you did what I did and went back to the menu, you wanna click on menu, you wanna click on reboot, and just reboot into system. And now we wait for the phone to start up into our brand new Xenex OS. I'm really interested to see this ROM's boot animation as Xenex makes pretty cool minimalistic boot animations and the other ones for Havoc OS were pretty damn cool, but I'm interested to see what he's thought up for this one. So my phone just rebooted for the second time. It usually does this when I reflash a ROM. So let's see what goes down here. Okay, just I can see it in the camera. I can't tell what it is. Okay, I'm liking this. I really am. It's really minimalistic. I love minimalistic boot animations. I don't know what it is. Just adds this little flair to your phone. So Xenex, congrats, man. If you're watching this, absolutely love your work. Just insane. Thank you for doing this. You're keeping a device like this alive and it's my daily. So I prefer it be kept alive than left to die. So yeah. I'm one of those people that requires customization on their phone in order to exist. So it's why I don't tend to use things like the iPhone or things like that, because they just don't give me the customization. And Xenex just makes my life a lot, lot easier by adding that into the Havoc Configuration Center or what I'm going to guess is going to be the Xenex Configuration Center now. So yeah, pretty cool. So uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, once you get to the boot screen, you know you're in. So. I guess I will wait with you guys till the till the installation screen shows up just so that we know everything worked. But I mean, usually once you get to this screen, you know you're done. I mean, I'm just going to wait to end off the video just in case something goes down, which I doubt it will, but you never know. There we go. We are now in the configuration screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to configure the phone. I'm going to plug it into the computer, transfer all my backups, transfer the migrate backup. Then if you did the migrate backup, you need to go back into recovery, flash the migrate backup, and then an app will get installed on your phone called migrate. And you can just 
restore from that. So it's really, really simple. I'm not going to show that process because it takes an extremely long time to recover all the apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up and do that behind the scenes. But for now, I'm going to end this video. So if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like. If you disliked it, dislike it, but tell me why in the comment section below. I really hope this video helped you out. I hope it helped you get Zenex OS onto your phone. Once I play around with Zenex OS a little bit more, I might release a review video for anybody that wants it. So um, yeah, if you guys are not part of the community yet, make sure to follow me on my social media here and here. Make sure to join our Discord where we have a constantly growing community. Join our Reddit where we post spicy memes. I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. So if that floats your boat, make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.